Hey there, it's uh, Emerson at Amada Games. So, in the process of learning Unreal 4, uh, I've, I came to an, another hurdle, one of many, uh, on getting my AI to animate. Um, there's a lot of good tutorials about how to sense where you, the player is and how to move your, um, your AI around. But there's not a lot on how to animate your AI based on events. And um, the thing that I, I found from some of the tutorials, it was it skimmed over very quickly. Now, it was obvious that the AI was, um, was using the, um, the animation blueprint because when, it, when it's got speed, it was, it was walking. So it was obviously using this. Um, and I was using the player's uh, animation blueprint. So the question was, how do I make the AI animate? And I'm going round and round in circles. The thing that the answer, the, the unlock was, what you need to do is you create an event dispatcher, this little guy over here. So an event dispatcher is um, just, just like any other event, it calls a, a sort of function that can be passed around between the blueprints depending on if it's cast, which is the second thing that's a big breakthrough is understanding the cast to function is basically, it's kind of like cast to is really just get from the other blueprint the information. So a cast to is like get from, kind of, if that makes sense, which uh, once I figured that out, it opened a lot of um, doors for me with the with this uh, blue, learning blueprints. So you make a event dispatcher and then there's these functions after you you call you can call bind unbind. I'm not sure about all these yet. I, I'll learn those as I go. But basically, it's an event. So you make a you make an event, and instead of having your input like you would on yours, so your your input move forward, or block or attack, you make a you make a an event based on a, something that occurs. So um, you've created an event, and you hook it up to your um, your you know your inputs as if a player, but with a with a your um, AI's blueprint. This opened the door. Uh, it didn't work. You call the event, but obviously that has to go to your animation blueprint. So then um, I basically set up the casting. So this part was already working, even though it was cast to character. I don't understand it completely, but basically cast to the AI the blueprint for the AI. And get the the same variables, but in a set for that particular blueprint, so that when your block or attack happens, it um, it goes it it can be called from here. So basically, what that looks like is uh, is this. Um, so I've got my little version of myself with its own animation blueprint um, and a basic behavior tree. So the behavior tree's just got a a, a line trace, and when I cross it. It uh, it follows me, but what it's doing is just on loop because I haven't said any. Is it's attacking me? So um, yeah, just a, that's just looping the attack, and that is being called from the from the um, here the event that I created in my character blueprint it then goes to the uh, to the um, casting to the animation blueprint in the same way as your inputs. Um, that's the difference. The cast is the, is the key. So even though at the moment it's really simple, there's no proper AI yet, um, I could probably in my AI, let's say um, in my check, I've got like a simple move to actor and that's going to be, because that's cast, to, uh, uh, there's the attack now event after it's cast. To the AI, so I could probably do like a, I don't know if it'll break things, I haven't even tried yet, but um, set a delay of, I don't know, you know, five seconds, and then once that's completed, maybe there's a, a, a block, let's see, block, ah, now I have to compile that, and drag it from the cast is the trick yes block so let's try that 